Okay, here we go, everyone. Okay, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. We are back here again with this. Looks to be a man. Looks like to be a masterpiece. Looks like to be a man. Looks to be a masterpiece. Looks to be a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, excuse me. That wasn't me. That was me sliding the box across the table. Um. <laughs> um now. Uh, this figure has been out for a while, guys. Oh, yeah, if you didn't, uh, if I didn't introduce this figure, you already should know this figure. This, this toy review is already out of control. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. Um, but, uh, this figure right here, it, it, of course, it is of the Penguin, if you guys don't know. Shush, man. I gotta stop smoking on that stuff. Um... And uh, yeah, I've seen many. I, I'm I'm just kind of all over the place because I'm really excited for this figure. I really really like uh, Batman Returns. Batman Returns was one of my favorite uh, Batman movies ever. Um, the Penguin, you know, uh, Danny DeVito. He should have won an Oscar for playing the Penguin Man because he did such an amazing job. And uh, this is of course from the DC Multiverse lineup. Um, here is the Penguin. Here's the other uh, figure that you can get f um, also from this DC Multiverse. Heath Ledger Joker. Don't really care too much for that figure. Um, I do have the DC Multiverse Batman uh, Val Kilmer from the Batman Forever movie, which I'm going to do a comparison and also other comparisons uh, towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that as well, guys. But I've seen many reviews of this Penguin. Actually, not many. I've only seen a few reviews of this Penguin action figure. Uh, some uh, from from the reviews that I watched from my fellow YouTubers, um, it was kind of split. There were some YouTubers that didn't like him, some YouTubers that really liked him. So we'll see how disappointed or how um, or how excited I am. Uh, after reviewing this figure. So, let's quit yapping away. Let's pop this guy out the box because I can't wait to review this figure for you. I've been holding on to this figure for a while now until the right time. Of course, I'm doing the 31 Days of Halloween, as you guys know if you've been watching my channel. So, let's take this penguin out of the container. As you guys can see here, he comes with a base with the, the, I think the Val Kilmer Batman came with the base, and one thing that's great about this base is it slips open, well it pops open, and then you can put his accessories in there so you don't lose them, which is a great idea for DC Multiverse, so yeah, that's that, that was a smart idea for them to do. I really like that idea, and also it's a base too, which he can stand, stand upon as well. And he comes with this cardboard cutout right here. From the movie that you can put that off to the side that you can open it up slide out and then you can put it right in here you can slide it right in to here if this is how you want to display your penguin figure like so or if you don't want to have them with the penguin right there you can always turn them around and then Display him with the DC Multiverse. It's really up to you guys. So, I like this card. I can't remember what the hell I did with my other... My Batman Forever card. I know I have the base, but I can't remember what I did with the card. Okay. Enough yapping, guys. Let's... Let's go straight to the figure, man. And then we'll check out his accessories. Okay. All right, dude. He is a portly, portly fella, man. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me move that out the way. Yeah, you know, this kind of reminds me of uh, the Kenner. Well, not the Kenner figure because they took a different approach. Actually, when they released the Batman, uh, what was it? Batman Returns Kenner figure. Penguin, he didn't look like this. He actually looked like the the penguin from the uh, the seventies show or the sixties uh, show with Batman and Robin, and he didn't look like this. So I think I'm sure there's other 
toy companies that have done, you know, Danny DeVito Penguin from Batman Returns. Um, but yeah, I like... I like this guy. <laughs> I like... <laughs> Look at... This is how he moves, guys. This, he just kind of rotates, kind of like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I like that a lot. And let's see, articulation. Does he even have any bends in his arms? It doesn't feel like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has some bends in his arms. You just got to be careful. They, they have to be heated up. And then there's his signature flippers. Right there. Yeah, I mean, the face sculpt is actually not too bad at all, man. Not a bad job they did with this penguin. If you want to, you can take off the coat, which I'm pretty sure you can. Would you? Why would you? Let's put all the accessories on first, and then we'll take off his coat, and then... Because I'm curious to see how he looks with this top hat right here. And I like how they gave him the top hat. Let's see how well it goes onto his head. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it would stay on his head. Yeah. This might have to be heated up to go onto his head. But yeah, it just kind of sits on top of his head. It doesn't really go onto his head. It doesn't really fit onto his head. It just kind of sits upon his head, guys. So, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably try to warm this hat up to place it over his head or force it on there. But, yeah, it's not going to stay. Well, barely. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if they gave us, like, a soft hell, uh, hell, a soft helmet because... Uh, this is like a hard plastic, and it's not bendable at all to put over his head. But that's how he would look with the hat on. So maybe you can balance it on there. I like that. Let's take out his other accessories. Here is his umbrella. Okay, I see what it... Okay, so here's his umbrella. So you can have him holding... Oh, it comes with... Uh, interchangeable hands too where he can hold his umbrella let's see how well it's hard to tell which one is his right hand and his left hand because he doesn't have five fingers <laughs> so let's try to pop this out and pop this hand on there and then let's see him if he can hold the cane my bad guys yeah like that, if you want them to hold like that. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit. Whoops, my bad. So you can see my tripod is off balance. Okay, so you can see what he looks like because he is a small fella. I like this penguin a lot, guys. Or you can have him holding, well, it depends. Put it in there. Put his umbrella in there, and then have him hold it like a gun. Let me see, I have to go like that, and then bring it around like that, and then you can bring in the effect. This is supposed to be like a swoosh, like a boom. And then you connect it to his umbrella, and it shoots, looks like he's firing a bullet from his umbrella. Focus camera. Man, my camera is crap. <laughs> Dude, what is up with my camera? It's like not focusing. There we go. There's the bullet effect. I like that. Or if you don't want that, you can just have him holding the cane. Like so, which I kind of like him like that. Holding the cane, and then you put the top hat on him. The top hat that doesn't stay like so I like this penguin guys okay so let me tighten this up real quick let me bring my camera up just a little bit more and so he does come with 
this stand right here. I can't remember how this goes or where this goes. I can't remember. I can't remember how this goes. Where's the box at? To the box for instructions. And there is no instructions on here. Hmm. Okay. I can't remember, guys. So you would plug this into here, but where am I plugging that into? Is there a piece on here? Yeah, there is a piece. Okay, I don't know why. So here is the base. All right, you guys got that so far? Here is all the other pegs that you can peg into uh, his foot. I know this because I got this with the previous uh, figure, the Batman figure. Let's try to take this out, cut this out. Jeez, man, it is in there. Watch me slice my finger open. Okay. Huh, huh, huh. And there goes that piece. So these are the little pegs. So let me take his jacket off because I feel like there's a peg hole um, in the back. So you can take off his jacket like so. And this jacket, jacket is kind of like a nylon fabric. And so yeah, there's the peg hole right there in the back. So here is what he looks like without the jacket. The jacket obviously covers up <laughs> his his portly shape so there is this penguin pretty accurate but i don't understand why they gave us this stand and to peg into here to peg this in to here <laughs> for what is the joker flying i don't i don't know the penguin is flying penguins can't fly so what is the purpose of this guys does anybody know what the purpose of this is I mean, I can understand if they gave him, like, that umbrella where it he flies. You know, the, the umbrella is flying, makes him fly, and he's holding the umbrella. But this doesn't make any sense at all right here. What do you think, guys? I don't, I don't even know, man. So, okay, I had to pop that off. Pop that back in there, and if you want to, you don't have to use that weird peg thing because it doesn't make any sense. And then you can peg this in here to cover up that hole, like so. And then here's his pegs, so you can peg these. From what I can remember, yeah, you can peg these into there. Peg those into his feet if you want to, and then you can have them stand on the stand like so like that if you guys want to it's up to you he might go on the stand and if you don't want this you can take that off there and as you can see it has the penguin right there not too shabby guys and then the pegs stay in there as you take them off the base not not bad guys I really really like this penguin listen is he the greatest toy ever made no does he have the greatest detail ever made? No. But I really like this penguin figure, man. I like the jacket. I like the look. It's not too shabby. I really, really do like this penguin, man. Put his umbrella back into his hand because this is how I'm pretty much going to pose him with the umbrella. Him holding the umbrella kind of as a cane like so and then his top hat which doesn't go on that great let's try to peg this back into here now like so <laughs> like so and there is the penguin guys I really really like this penguin man I definitely I have no problem with it I have no grapes about this penguin they did a pretty pretty Amazing job to the likeness of the penguin and to Danny DeVito as the penguin. So what do you guys think? Let's do some comparisons, shall we? So here is 
the last figure that I reviewed, the Joker, um, from DC Icon series, and they actually go pretty well together, man. They size pretty, pretty well together. I mean, the, the Penguin would probably be way shorter, you know, if this Joker was a little bit bigger, but they actually go very, very well together, man. Two different Joker, well, one Joker from one era, you know, from a different Batman era than this Penguin, of course. But this is how they size up, and they size up pretty, pretty well, surprisingly. So I did some comparisons with this other Joker figure, and yeah, he was a very, he's a very, very small figure, even though he stands about six and a half inches. So this Penguin, which doesn't stand very well, that's probably why you would need to stand. This Penguin stands uh, just under six inches, guys. Just under, just a little under six inches. So he's not, he is small, but he's not small, small. Let's do some other comparisons. Okay, so here is uh, the Batman right here from the multiverse, uh, the same series right here. The Val Kilmer Batman. And yeah, I can see they measure up a little bit. Yeah, I, I think the Penguin should be a little bit shorter, but in toy form, he's actually the perfect size. I don't think you want to get him any shorter. You know, I feel like this Batman is supposed to be a little bit taller, but they actually go pretty well together, man. I have to admit, you know, this is from Batman Forever. This is Batman Returns. And they go pretty well together, man. Don't overlook this Batman. This Batman is pretty awesome. He reminds me of the Kenner uh, Batman. And, uh, yeah, I, I like him. You know, a lot of people don't like this Batman. Of course, I did a review of him a while back. So if you guys didn't see that review, check it out. But, yeah, this is how they measure up like so. Batman versus the Penguin. And just for the hell of it, guys, I figure I'd bring out uh, one of my favorite Batmans in my collection. This is the Batman from the Arkham Knight. Is it Arkham Knight or Arkham Asylum uh, video game? And this is, yeah, this is, makes more sense because I feel like Batman is supposed to be a more overtowering figure. Um, so size comparison, I think these guys measure up a little bit better because Penguin is supposed to be a short, uh, stocky guy. So this is how they measure up. Batman might be a little bit too large, but I just feel like this is kind of the perfect size right here. You know what I mean? Other than the the uh, Batman. So here's the Penguin. Let's bring back in the Batman, the Val Kilmer Batman. And see the size comparison, guys? So, what do you guys think? Yeah, I do feel like this Batman is pretty, pretty, pretty huge. But I just think this Vel Kilmer Batman should be a little bit taller. What do you guys think? Yeah. But this is how they measure up right here. In my last review, guys, I figure that is not Batman related. I figure I bring out another portly fella right here. This is the Gamorrean Guard from Star Wars. And uh, <laughs> simply because they, uh, they both love food, <laughs> I figure, why not? So this is how the Gamorrean Guard measures up with the Penguin figure. I feel like they could they could have a bonding experience. What do you guys think? I think they would get along very well. Okay, guys, so that was my little review of the Penguin uh, from the DC Multiverse lineup uh, based on the movie Batman Returns. And I really, really like this figure, guys. I think he's really, really nicely done. Um... Could they have done a better job? I mean, you can always do a better job, but it's pretty, pretty accurate to the movie. Um, I don't know if I showed you the articulation. He does have the brakes here and the knee bend, which is not that great. You might have to warm it up because the knee bend is not that great. But then again, Penguin uh, shouldn't have the best articulation, uh, barely any ankle movement. But it, he does have brakes here at the knees as well. I forgot to mention that as well. So, a nice overall piece for your shelf to add to your Batman collection. I highly, oh, I don't highly recommend it, but I do recommend this piece if you do love Batman Returns, like I love Batman Returns. Uh, yeah, he might have to warm him up because he is not very bendable, should I say. So, be careful bending his joints. You don't want to break off anything. 
So let me give you my rating of this penguin. On a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give him a solid 8. I think it's very nice. He's very nicely done. He's a very nice piece of plastic. A very accurate looking. I do love the dark shading around his eyes. The face is done very nicely. The suit is very nicely. This right here, of course, is a rubber piece right here. The rest is a plastic cloth. And, uh, yeah. He's a nice penguin, man. He's a nice penguin. Okay, guys, tell me what you guys think of this figure. Do you like him? Do you own him? Do you plan on picking him up after you've seen this review? I was not planning to pick up this penguin um, I until I actually saw him in stores, and I saw him in person, and I thought he looked really, really awesome. And now that I got him in hand, I don't regret it. I actually like this penguin piece. So, so, so tell me what you guys think of my stuttering <laughs> and of this penguin uh, figure from DC Multiverse, guys. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!